Now, if you've just learned your first few notes on the saxophone, it's time to get stuck in learning your first cool song on the saxophone. And that's what we're gonna do in this lesson. I'm gonna show you on the tenor sax how to play a cool original tune called Swing and Easy. Now, this is a dead easy song. It only uses a few notes, about four or five notes, real easy, but it's a lot of fun to play. I think you'll really enjoy it. This is actually from our saxophone toolkit lesson bundle, but I've popped it on YouTube here so it's really easy for you to access. And I've also included the backing track at the end of the lesson so you can come back and practice as many times as you want. So have some fun with the lesson. I'll catch you at the end. Or oh, I should just tell you, I recorded this before I had my beard, so I do look a bit different, but it's still me. Have some fun with the lesson, I'll catch you at the end. Okay, so before I start showing you the notes for this tune, I'm gonna pop on the backing track and play it all the way through for you so you can hear what it sounds like, and then we're gonna get stuck in learning the tune in easy steps. Here we go. <laughs> So you can hear it's a really easy tune. It's, I mean, it sounds great fun, but actually it's so simple. There's two sections in it, that's it. It's a really quick one to learn. Okay, so let's get started. Now I told you in the previous lesson about your left hand uses the one, not this little key, but one, two, and three fingers. Uh, and then the right hand is these one, two, and three fingers. Okay, on the three, the fingers are on those big pearly pads. Now our very first note on the, for the tenor saxophone is not as actually this finger, the middle finger of your left hand. And what we're doing here is playing the note C. Sounds like this. And remember, every single note that we play today, we start with a two, with our tongue. Two, 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 tongue's on the reed, and then we take it off, just like saying two. Okay, so our first note is C, but our second note is D. Now, D is a tricky one, because for D, we're gonna add all six fingers down, Plus, we're gonna add this little extra modifier key at the back, which is called the octave key. See that one there? Now we operate that with our thumb. So our, our hand goes on the back here and presses it down like this. So when we press down that octave key, our saxophone goes up an octave or a whole, you know, a whole set of 12 notes up. So what we're gonna do is go from this C to the D with all six fingers on and our thumb. D sounds like this. So let's go C up to D. Here we go. Should we do it a few times? Now I'm keeping my fingers way off the saxophone just to demonstrate to you so you can clearly see what I'm doing. But when I'm actually playing, my fingers are touching those keys all the time. So I want you to think about keeping your hands and fingers as close as possible to those keys so they're always in touch. It's a bit like a Ferrari engine that goes super fast because there's no extra flappiness going on inside there. So our, our phrase now starts, we go rest, then we go C up to D, and then we take our bottom note off of our uh, right hand to get the note E. So you've got C, up to D, up to E, back down to that C, and then back up to the D. 
So pick up your saxophone, let's try these fingers together. So you go C, up to D, up to E, down to C, down and back up to D. And the rhythm is like this, three, four, one. C, D, E, C, D. Do you want to try it with me? Three, four, one. C, D, E, C, D. Now let's try playing it really slowly. Remember, every note starts with a two, 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 with a tongue. So one, two, three, four, one. Let's try it again. Three, four, one. Okay, cool. Now, that happens three times in this piece of music. So let's play it as if it's the second time. Three, four, one. And let's play it for, for the third time now. Four, one. And this third time, we finish it off by going C, D, F at the end. So it's C, up to D, and then all the way up to F, where we just have our first finger of our right hand down. Okay? So let's try that the third time through with the little ending on it. So one, two, three, four, one. Okay, and then we hold that F for an extra couple of beats at the end. Okay, so let's try doing all of that together. Now, if you're looking at the music as well, you'll notice that the music goes across from left to right, and all the way along the musical stave, there's horizontal lines every so far. And those are dividing the music into bars. A bar is a collection of beats, and in our music, like most Western music, there's four beats, four pulses in every bar. So it's one, two, three, four, that's one bar, then one, two, three, four, that's the next bar, and so on. So I've numbered the bars all the way through this piece of music, and we're gonna start now back at figure A, which is bar one, we're gonna go all the way through to bar eight. Here we go, let's see if we can do it all together. So start with a T, two, 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 keep your fingers close to those keys, don't forget that octave key, and also, I want you to think about having a nice round shape on your embouchure, keeping all of this really open as well. And, and don't put too much mouthpiece in, just a little bit of mouthpiece in your mouth. One, two, three, four, one. Second time. Third time with the ending. Okay, now the cool thing about this piece of music is then when we go into bar nine, uh, bar nine down to bar 16, it's exactly the same as what we did. So we get to play all of that section a second time. So let's do it for the second time. Three, four, one. So that's the first half of the tune. Fantastic. And you're learning about the octave key. You're learning about all these different notes. You're thinking about your tone. There's so many things to think about in there. So you're doing really, really well. There's only one more little section to learn in this tune, and then we know the whole song. If you look at your music, there's a section marked B at, at bar 17. And we're going to have a look at that. Now, this is three phrases that are kind of the same. And the first one of these starts on another new note for us. Now, do you remember when I was showing you the right hand, uh, the left hand, and I said you've got your first finger on the B, first finger, and then you skipped a little one, and you put your second finger on the A and the third finger on the G. Well, that little one is what we're going to talk about here. Now, sometimes in music, we use a note that's halfway between two notes, and we call these either a flat, if it's a half step halfway down 
going downwards, or a sharp if it's halfway between going upwards. So our B is here, and we're going to play a note halfway between B and A, which is a B flat. And the way we do that on the saxophone is we use our one finger, our nose picking finger here, and we go from B, we also press down that little key below it, which is called B flat. Now there's a few different ways to play B flat, but today we're just going to stick to that B flat finger in there. Okay, so I'm moving my B finger all the way down, so it's covering both things. And B sounds like this. B flat sounds like this. Okay, bit of Jaws action. Right, so. Now, in the second uh, section at figure B, bar 17, we start with that B flat and we go rest, rest, B flat, up to C, up to D, back down to C, back down to B flat. So if you've got your saxophone, try doing these fingerings with me. So it's one, two, B flat, C, D, C, B flat. And again, rest, rest, B flat, C, D, C, B flat. Let's try playing it. One, two. Okay. The next phrase is the same idea, but this time we start on the A. And we go rest, rest, A, B flat. So I'm still using my, my first fingers to do both keys there. A, B flat, C, B flat, A. So A up to B flat, up to C, and back to that B flat. So let's try it one more time. One, two. A, B flat, C, B flat, A. Let's try playing that. Oh, one, two. So let's try those two together. So start with the B flat first, and then we're gonna do the one that starts on the A. So the B flat, two. Three, four, one, two. Rest, rest. Okay, and the third one is rest, rest, then G, A, normal B this time. So I'm just using the B key, not the B flat, just the normal B. G, A, B, G, A, B, and back to C, which is where we uh, started from, then up to D, and then up to E. So that phrase again, it's rest, rest. G, A, normal B, G, A, B, C for two counts, up to D for two counts, up to E for two counts. Let's try that four bar phrase. So this is from bar, ooh, what is it, bar um, 21, bar 21, here we go. So one, two. Awesome. So let's just finish off now by playing that whole B section together. So we're gonna go back to bar 17 where we go B flat, C, D, C, B flat, and play all the way through until we finish at bar 24. Here we go. One, two. One, two. One, two. Those are all the notes for this tune, because what happens after that is the, the last section, section C, it's the same as section A, you already know it. Rest. 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 the whole tune. Well done you for making it through. That's really, really awesome. So lots of new things we're thinking about there. Obviously the tonguing, the tone, the posture, the breathing, but also things like your B flat here, 
the C note, the D, E, and F, all that sort of stuff. So much to think about. Let's try putting it all together now. I'm going to pop the backing track on again. We'll play it through, but this time play it along with me, and let's see if we can make it all the way through this tune, thinking about tonguing every single note, keeping lots of air through our instrument, and getting it to play really smoothly. Here we go. How'd you get on with that? Isn't it such a cool little song? I think it's a load of fun. And don't forget, you can use this lesson as many times as you need to. That backing track section at the end of the lesson is really, really handy just to go back and use it as a practice tool. Now that you've learned your first song, I bet you can't wait to learn a whole load more songs. So look, there's so much to keep you busy inside Sax School. We've literally got over a thousand lessons and dozens and dozens and dozens of courses that you'll really enjoy exploring. At the moment, there's a 14-day trial and the link for that is down below. But for now, go check out this lesson as the next thing to crack on with.